Hello folks and welcome back to the Tesla project. So we got a, another pretty major milestone for you guys today. As we can see we have now reassembled our inverter uh, back onto the Tesla motor uh, complete with the version 2 um, um, open source logic board which is kind of hidden down there at the minute. And we're set up for some low voltage testing here. We're just supplying 45 volts uh, to the system here from our crappy power supply. And um, so what I've been doing uh, is I've been testing out some of the nice to have features today. So what we're looking at right now is basically creep mode. So creep mode here now is working. Um, with the inverter software to basically maintain a set RPM up to a particular percentage of full throttle. So that'll be something that we'll be experimenting in uh, when the motor is installed into the car. And there's also a feature in the firmware now uh, for hill hold. So that'll be something else that we'll be looking at again when it's in the car but at the minute now we're just having a look at some of these features as we're starting to reassemble the inverter and kind of get better to grips with having it uh, working as it as it actually would have with the original Tesla logic board and work in the uh, Tesla Model S itself so yeah, this is about where we're at. We've reassembled, running some tests here, and we've gotten some very nice uh, plots here. Our current sensors are just working away fantastically. You can see how closely uh, together, hopefully on the screen, I just stopped the plot there. So right now we're running peaks of about plus and minus 25 amps per phase into the motor, uh, getting some very nice uh, readings from that. So what we will go ahead and do now is uh, we will do a few more tests here just with normal throttle control because so where we're at now is that's um, basically a case that we can push the throttle and accelerate the car you know up to whatever speed that we may want we can then release the throttle back and the motor at the minute again just because we're on low voltage mode from the power supply there's no regen uh, so once the motor coasts back down to what we've said as our creep speed at the minute is 500 revs you'll see it kind of it'll just kind of pick up again and uh, pretty much start driving at that speed or it'll just shut off. <laughs> oh, no, there it goes. Aha, brilliant. I mean, of course I knew that was going to happen. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the minute. We have creep mode working. We've got the inverter back on. So, all right, I'm going to shut up and we will configure for high voltage mode and uh, run the motor up to full speed, hopefully. And um, yeah, that'll be it for today.
Alrighty folks, so we're just doing a few runs here, we're just shaking her out a little bit as you've uh, probably seen there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go up a little bit on the RPMs. Uh, I'm not going to push too hard because I said I have no cooling at the minute. So once we get coolant on here, uh, we'll be able to push some more uh, power through the inverter safely. So, all right, I'm going to set you guys up here to watch this, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run up probably to around 8,000 RPM on the motor, so about 50% of uh, rated speed. And, uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. That's about a two and a half, three thousand RPM. Pouring on some more juice. There's five grand. It's brilliant that I can clock the day in here as well. Yeah, we peaked out at about 10.5 there on that road. So there we go guys. Our Tesla rear drive unit is back together. Is running well um, on the bench, floor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're getting very good uh, results here with our version 2 logic board so uh, we will be back soon when we need to get this guy um, need to get some coolant I'm gonna get the cover on this too so we don't you know drop something on it or do something else stupid that's gonna damage the inverter but we're very near to the point now where we'll be able to install this well start the process of installing this into the E31 so that's about it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you did don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and have a look in the description uh, where you will see a link to my patreon campaign if you would like to financially contribute to this and other projects that i'm involved in uh, if you prefer not to use patreon there's a link to paypal in the description as well as is a link to my GitHub, uh, where you may download all the wonderful uh, schematics and source code and source files and all other sources for what I'm doing here. So, thanks a lot, folks, and we will uh, we'll see you next time.